everybody and welcome back to Supertech Services. Quick video today on how to set a static IP address. Alright, so go ahead and hit the home button and hit the utility button there on the keypad. Go ahead and hit administrator settings. Put your password in. Standard is 1 through 8 on a lot of copiers unless it's been changed. Hit the OK button. Go ahead and hit network settings. TCP IP. IPv4. Now, you see it's on auto input uh, here. What we're going to do is go ahead and select manual input. Okay, and then after you select manual input, you can go ahead and you can hit display keypad over here. That'll give us the ability to actually change the IP address. Then go ahead and select it over here and just hit delete. You can just delete all of them there. Just like that. Then you can go back to the keypad and just type in whatever the IP address is. So here I'm just going to do a standard 192.168.1.108 subnet mask. I'm just uh, it's fine, but I'm just deleting it just to show you guys what it um, what it looks like. So you can delete and just go right back over to the left side here on the keypad. And then the default gateway I'm just going to leave that there. Oh, and I noticed that needs a two here. The IP address needed a two, so let's just go ahead and change that there. Now everything looks good here and you just go ahead and hit the OK button. Now do not turn off the main power while this is happening. So all the settings are updating here and this could take a little bit sometimes 30 seconds up to a minute. Just let it sit. It's fine. Everything will be alright. When it does finish uh, the screen will just return to normal and what I like to do is uh, power off right after that even though it's not necessary but uh, that's what we'll do. So let's just give it a minute here. All right, there we go. So screen is back to normal. You can check the IP settings, make sure it locked in as it did. You can even print a config sheet if you want. What I'm going to do, though, is go ahead and just power off, and then I'll check the settings again just to make sure. Let me just refocus the camera here. So you guys can see the power switch located at the front door. All right. So let's just power off. Wait a second or two. All right, then go ahead and power back on. Okay, we'll just let everything come back. And we also just want the NIC card to register. We just want everything to come back, so just let it sit. Don't try to get into the menu right away because it, uh, it has to load. You'll know it's still loading when it says preparing user box, preparing scan fax. When that starts to go away, then you can kind of go in, sometimes right before. Just give it a second. And when it's ready, we're just going to go back in, make sure that our, our, our IP address is correct. Sorry about that. And then you'll be able to just test print and make sure everything's good. And just remember that um, you want to be on the same IP address scheme or make sure your networks are bridged. Uh, you don't want to put an IP address that's on the wrong scheme. Anyways, we're back here, and we can see that our address is locked in. So we're all good, guys. So I'm going to end that video today. Please like, comment, subscribe. See you on the next one.